don't think it necessarily shows him as being uh, as handling that particularly well. And I think this is kind of the, the, the big issue that I've spoken to a lot of Tory MPs uh, about is that Sunak's never run a national campaign before. And it is a very tricky thing to do. And, and actually, he's not necessarily particularly easy with, with the public. Now, I want to play a couple of clips here and pay close attention because they are slightly different. OK, so there was a, a clip that went, I mean, frankly, mega viral on Twitter slash X <laughs> yesterday, which showed the prime minister speaking to a member of the public while walking about amongst the humans in Winchester. And the initial clip... Uh, was initially sort of portrayed as him walking away from her in the middle of, well, quite a kind of feisty exchange. So last year, towards the end of the year, we had two months with virtually no strikes in October and November. Well, that was a fortunate thing. And do you know what happened? The waiting list fell by 150,000 over it? those two months. And it just shows that when there aren't strikes, we really can make yeah. progress. Nope. So we didn't last year because of all yeah, the strikes, but, but you hopefully... You could stop it all. You could make it all go back well, to how it used to be. Where we had, <laughs> not literally, <laughs> no, yeah. but where yeah. we had that hearty chuckle was the Prime Minister, at which point he kind of turned and was guided away as somebody said, you know, we've got to move on to the next thing. And that was where that first clip ended. However, it is important to note that does not quite tell the full story. Here is a longer version which shows these uh, the Prime Minister and this woman who was speaking to him walking together and continuing the conversation and even shaking hands at the end. If you had a problem, you could go to the hospital. My daughter yeah. Yeah, spent yeah. seven hours waiting. I'm sorry to hear that. But anyway, the key thing know. is that we have resolved all the inductive actions. I hope so. About, apart from the junior doctors who have... Uh, are still not saying yes, but everyone else has said yes. So, which Thank is good. you. I'm about to put a billion pounds into the NHS, which is great. No. Oh, and please don't send A and E to Basing Street. Oh, with this new hospital, I know the guys are talking it's through it. Yeah, I mean, you need to just. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. So there you go. That was how it kind of fizzled out. And as we say, there was a handshake. Now, Alan, there's two things about this. One, there's the slightly careless editing on the first clip, it has to be said, and that has to be pointed out because the first clip definitely portrayed a different end to the conversation than was actually the reality. The other thing about it, though, is actually even when you hear the longer exchange, how does Rishi Sunak cope when he's amongst the people? Yeah, I think you're right. I think that the longer clip is is shows that he doesn't just laugh in the face and walk away as, as it might have originally seen mm. but i don't think it necessarily shows him as being uh as handling that particularly well and i think this is kind of the the, the big issue that i've spoken to a lot of tory mps uh, about is that sunak's never run a national campaign before and it is a very tricky thing to do and, and actually he's not necessarily particularly easy with with the public and he's been shown to have a bit of a kind of a, a, sh a short fuse and not necessarily have that kind of that common touch he often speaks in kind of uh kind of wider issues you know, he's asked about kind of when he's asked about sort of economic things people ask him about sort of their personal circumstances and he tends to talk about the wider economic environment and not kind of get into those kind of um, individual stories and so i think you know like a lot of these stories they, they often play into the kind of tropes that we imagine those people are, already are i think he does deal with it okay those those they're always difficult when you get hit with a question, a very tricky one about you know, NHS waiting list, which is one something that, that the Tories have failed to bring down. I think he's going to have to get better at these because, you know, I say it's a long election campaign year. We might not have a poll for another sort of eight, nine months, maybe 10 months. He's going to have a lot of these kind of walkabouts, he's, um, you know, if he's going to seem to be kind of improving his standing with the public and he's going to have to get a, a bit better at it. And perhaps his, his, his handlers, his minders are going to have to be not quite so aggressive in moving him away because mm. it just starts if you're sort of turning heel on a vote on a potential voter as they try and tell you the one big issue they want to speak to you about and you're not and you're not answering them properly